Hello everyone, we are pleased to introduce the curriculum of Data Science for Astrophysics for the Master's Degree in Physics at the University of Insubria in Lake Como. For the next academic year, there are two big news. The first is that the characterizing courses have been completely renewed in order to offer a preparation focused on the data science. This will allow the student to start an absolutely modern and up-to-date education in astrophysics, acquiring advanced knowledge and skills required today in a multitude of different areas. The other big news is that all the activities will be performed in full collaboration with scientists and researchers of ENOF, the Italian Institute of Astrophysics. With ENOF, we already have a partnership at the level of doctorate since many years. Lectures, and therefore the possibilities of research thesis, will benefit from the interaction with the local branch of ENOF, namely the Astronomical Observatory of Brera where more than 50 scientists are employed in the most various fields of astrophysics, from theory to observations to technological developments of space missions. The idea behind the new curriculum is twofold. First, we want to offer really innovative and beyond state-of-the-art courses, and second, we aim at exploiting in a more systemic way the immense know-how present in enough DNA. These are the four characterizing courses that we propose within the Curriculum Data Science for Astrophysics. They are completely new courses in their contents, all implemented with practical exercises and analysis of particularly relevant case studies. Before analyzing the content of individual teachings in a detailed way, let's see what could be the path for a master's degree in Data Science for Astrophysics. In addition to the characterizing courses, a full immersion course in scripting and programming is mandatory. Python will be the language to address many of the problems we will meet during the route. General relativity is a must that cannot absolutely miss in the baggage of knowledge of a physicist, in particular of an astrophysicist, as well as knowledge about the physical principles of radiation detectors. The other four suggested courses supply, in a complementary way, knowledge that is certainly useful to a theoretical numerical approach of the data science for astrophysics, with an eye also on observational technologies. Let's take now a closer look at the contents of the four characterizing courses. Let's start with the basic teaching, elements of astrophysics and cosmology. The course will begin by facing the problem of the formation, evolution and final destiny of the stars, starting from a cloud of molecular hydrogen, helium and metals to end up with the white dwarfs, neutron stars and black holes. The physics of these compact objects will then be discussed with particular reference to the observational techniques required for their detection. Before leaving the Milky Way, we will face the fascinating and new world of extrasolar planetary systems joining among gas giants, superhearths and habitable zones. Then we will study the formation and evolution of galaxies, from the large spirals such as the Milky Way and Andromeda, to remote irregular galaxies which were formed about 13 billion years ago, at the beginning of the history of the cosmos. Among the galaxies, a particular emphasis will be given to the so-called active galactic nuclei, where supermassive black holes weighing millions to billions solar masses are responsible for phenomena among the most energetic and spectacular of the entire universe. Finally, we will see what modern cosmological theories tell us about the very nature of our own universe. We will try to answer questions such as how was the universe born, how has it evolved, what is its final destiny? Let's move now to the teaching on artificial intelligence. With artificial intelligence for astrophysical problems, we will learn to understand and use machine learning techniques with a focus on the solution of many different astrophysical problems. The importance of the classification algorithms will be analyzed in detail with an in-depth study of the different existing algorithms and of their use. Students will learn to master image recognition algorithms. From face recognition to galaxy recognition, the step is really short. All the subjects will be supported by examples and case studies, and innovative concepts such as neural networks and deep learning will apply. 
Then, one of the most advanced and fascinating fields of data science will be covered, that is, unsupervised machine learning. And finally, we will see how astrophysics and the big data world are now intimately related. Computational astrophysics will be dedicated to learning the advanced concepts laying behind astrophysical and cosmological state-of-art, massive numerical simulations. The teaching will start with an overview of the numerical techniques necessary for the solutions of astrophysical problems. We will apply what we learn first to dynamical systems such as n-body systems, star clusters and planetary systems. Then to the solution of the equations of hydrodynamics, analyzing the types of existing numerical codes, SPH, AMR, moving mesh. And finally, we will learn the numerical techniques necessary to solve the problem of radiative transfer in astrophysical systems. Then, with those techniques at hand, we could simulate the formation of the large-scale structure of the universe through multi-scale HPC. Finally, we will understand how massive numerical simulations are intimately linked to big data. In the fourth course we are proposing, we'll begin by developing the knowledge of variable phenomena in astrophysics, seen as a fundamental source of scientific information. It will begin with an overview of the main variable phenomena in the cosmos. In this photo we see Jocelyn Bell at a time of her discovery of the pulsars in 1967, when she was just 24. Then we will learn the fundamental tools for the analysis of variable signals, that is Fourier's analysis with applications to stellar variability and to exoplanet transits, and naturally to pulsars. We will analyze in details the so-called autoregressive phenomena, for example, the variability of active galactic nuclei. Then we will move on to nonparametric analysis, a fundamental tool that finds application, for example, in the analysis of gravitational wave signals from binary black holes, or in the analysis of the anisotropies of the cosmic microwave background, the echo of the Big Bang. We will see then how big data, machine learning and intelligent systems are now essential concepts in the analysis of variable astrophysical signals. And finally, a particularly instructive case study, that is, the analysis of the SETI signal, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Here we see a young Jodie Foster in the film Contacts while listening to radio signals, coming from alien civilizations. That's all for now. We hope you enjoyed the presentation of data science for astrophysics. It is important to stress, as said at the beginning, that what you will learn during your master years at Insubria, concepts such as machine learning, neural network, big data, high performance computing and many others, represents a know-how which will be instrumental in shaping your future professional career, certainly not limited to astrophysics. Astrophysics, however, represents one of the frontiers of human knowledge where such concepts find perhaps their fullest application. Thanks for your kind attention.